So I'm going to be checking out the Mirrors Matter Smart Plugs as a two-pack. I want to see how that works within Matter, see how Matter the Matter standard is working at this point. I'm going to try to connect these to two different ecosystems, and we'll see what we can get working. Mirrors has provided these at no cost to me, but as usual, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I give an honest review of these and let you know how it's really working. So the good, the bad, the ugly, and uh, make sure that you're aware of what's going on with these. So let's get this box open and see what's inside. I think this will be pretty straightforward. We have a couple of instructions and two Mirrors Matter smart plugs in here. And we have the matter code on top and just pretty standard plug, pretty tiny. So the first um, you know, item I'm looking at here is this is definitely smaller than some of our other smart plugs. We have a Sylvania and a car and a few other brands. All right, I grabbed the iPad and I'm gonna go ahead and get the first matter smart plug for the mirror smart plugs connected into Home Assistant. So I'm gonna go into my integration and add a matter device and say, no, it's not on another matter controller. Go ahead and plug it in here a while too, and then scan the device. And add it to Home Assistant. And it looks like it's populating. Just change the background. I'm just gonna call this um, matter test plug one. The light takes a second to actually turn on. The outlet's turning on first, and then the light takes a, just a second to power up. I'm going to do the second one through Apple Home. So I'll go in here and add an accessory. There's not a lot of light over here. So it took it a second to see it. And we'll add that. In the meantime, I'm going to plug in this other light. And that was actually much quicker for the adding of the matter device into Apple Home. So I think for now, I'm just going to put it in the study. And we're going to call this matter test plug two. I think that's pretty close. Say so it's an outlet here and done. Again, really responsive. So what I'm going to do is go back to Home Assistant and add in the second device. So I'm going to add a matter device and say, yes, it's already in use by Apple Home. So it tells you exactly what to do then. Go into Apple Home, open the accessory setting, and tap on pairing mode. And copy the code. Come back. Paste the code and add the device. And it looks like it's adding. Don't have the functionality yet. Oh, there we go. Now we have the functionality. So that was really quick and easy. Um, you know, I think Matters had a, a bad rap, but these things have been working awesome. Right away, everything responds and no issues. So what I'm gonna do is create a quick automation that turns them on at the same time and just run that for a test environment to see if there's any lag for from having these set up under different uh, control, you know, main controllers, but it should be equal. So let's see what that's like. So when I tried to create the automation, I realized I couldn't find the devices and had to come back here. And despite renaming them, they show a smart mini plug. So I'm going to go ahead and rename them here and just do test one and two and we'll be able to see those. So I wasn't able to successfully rename those. Uh, so I still have the smart plug mini and smart, smart plug mini with the test and test two is the toggles, which is really weird. I'll have to go back in and play around with that some more, but I just wanted to show you what it was like with the testing. So you can see that there is definitely a, a difference in when they turn on and off. And I've tested these these a few times, and it's always in this direction. So this is the one that is integrated directly in Home Assistant, and that's the one in Apple Home. So there's just maybe a second delay max between the two but not anything major, but it's pretty consistent there. And I, I should state that the matter controller within Home Assistant is technically in a beta environment, but everything connected really easily. Everything's working really great. So it's definitely a good setup for that. And compared to what I've seen with matter devices in the past from other creators, 
definitely, I think this is a, a step in the right direction and certainly, you know, a feasible solution for Matter smart plugs. So once I went through it some more, I was able to change the entity level, but never the device. And I'm guessing it is because Matter is in beta within Home Assistant. So that may be an expected bug at this point, but it's nice to see that everything's working together and I can utilize the Matter device from HomeKit over into Home Assistant without any issues other than maybe a slight delay. So again, I can go back and easily do that. So time for my final thoughts. These are definitely a step in the right direction for Matter devices. And if I were in the market for a Matter smart plug, I would definitely look at these Mirror smart plugs. They worked very easily, integrated very quickly. Home Assistant had a slight delay, um, but Apple Home definitely added them much quicker. And you can do that you know, across different platforms as well. So having that flexibility moving forward, that if you don't end up staying with the smart Home Assistant you're with now, that you'd be able to move those around and have those available elsewhere is a real plus. So again, I would definitely look into these. These are probably the best, um, or second best, I'd say, mirrors device that I have in my house at this point. The garage door openers are my favorite, followed by these smart plugs. And, and like I said, I would definitely look at these if I was looking to add more smart plugs within my home.